Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. You're listening to Nelson Radio. This segment brought to you by Academy Mortgage. Welcome back to Nelson Radio. That was really insightful as we listened to Joey Johnson. Uh, some of the uh, tips and, and insights from his book that we'll have an e-copy for, Worthy to Win. All you need to do is contact us direct at 888-888-2136. That's 888 888- Triple eight twenty one thirty six, or click through at nelsonradio.com. We'll get you an e-copy of his book. And Jay, as we're looking at risk versus reward, I mean, he brought up a, a good story offline talking about Ivan Lendl and uh, after he lost to Djokovic in the Australian Open. And uh, excuse me, not Ivan Lendl. Uh, Andy Murray. Andy Murray. There you go. <laughs> And his coach, Ivan Lendl, was saying, right. listen, you need to take certain risks as you get towards the end of the match. In a fourth set, in a fifth set, you can't expect that uh, Djokovic is going to lose the match for you. Don't be it, too passive. Don't Press be too passive. Yeah, right. and to push and, and to take a certain level of risk. And mm-hmm. so I have with us also Terrence Brandley, longtime mortgage professional, a mortgage expert, a loan strategist, and Jay Oku, of course, from Academy Mortgage. And we're taking a look at really the just the condition of where we've been in the mortgage sector, where we are, and where we need to go. And I want to take a look back at uh, the question that was asked by our producer, uh, Terrence. First of all, welcome to the program. Yeah, thanks, Nels. Thanks for having me, and uh, I'm glad to be here. So so in, in terms of uh, a question that came up before we uh, started our broadcast today was, is the, the stated income loan ever going to come back? You know, that, that, that's a good question, Nelson. And, and I think what's a better way to look at it is that what happened uh, with – the subprime industry and what originally was a good loan with the state income loan and then, quite frankly, got abused in the industry. And I think there absolutely is a need for it, probably now more than ever. Um, but, you know, it, it's just really going to depend on to whether or not the, the banks are going to be willing to take that risk and come back in the marketplace, uh, really, what well, seems like not too long after you know, what we went through with the subprime mess. So it's a very good question. Uh, I think there definitely is a need for it. Uh, you know, it, your guess is as good as mine as to when uh, the banks are going to feel comfortable enough coming out with a product like that. And like we saw, Jay, the, our industry overcorrected, and it's maybe starting to soften a little bit in terms of a, li- uh, a little bit more of logic and reason coming into these guidelines and lending processes. Do you find it tolerable enough when we're extending loans now to people, or is it still excruciatingly painful? There's a level of pain that goes into a file, and uh, it, it tethers back to Joey's uh, to Joey's interview. It was really inspiring. Um, but there's a li- level of uh, of risk and reward in uh, going into the loan process and you need to know what's ahead of you so setting expectations is critical uh, in understanding what's going to be asked of you and the scrutiny that's going to go into your financial profile um, and as far as the subprime uh, or the uh, stated income, the stated income mm-hmm. side it's really going to go back to the banks when they're willing to take the risk for that reward it'll have to be a little bit of a higher interest rate environment I think it, you're going to start seeing more of those uh, those opportunities arise again so, hey, with Ter- uh, Terrence, let me ask you this. In terms of as you sit down with loan applicants, and let's say you have a young couple that comes in and they want to buy that starter home of $750,000, and <laughs> maybe you can get them qualified. But you recognize that, okay, they're qualified for a, from a debt-to-income standpoint, but it's stretching them to the very limits of their financial capacity where they're now living for that mortgage payment. Are you, con- are you just following through whatever they're eligible for, or are you coaching them down? I mean, what kind of stance do you take? You know what, Nelson? I, it's very timely. I just had 
a similar instance uh, no more than a week or two ago, and it was a it wasn't quite 750, but it was right around 650. He was a veteran. He'd uh, come back from fighting over in Afghanistan, and uh, he was he works for a very good employer here in Orange County, Disney, and has great income, um, and was going to take advantage of a VA loan, but they were really going to find themselves. Uh, you know, living, you know, to pay that mortgage and, and uh, using every cent and dollar, and, and they have a couple of girls that are in club sports and are, are, like to go on vacations. And, and I just suggested to them, you know, don't get me wrong, I love real estate, it's a great investment, but, you know, you also have to, to factor in your quality of life and making sure that you're not, uh, you know, putting every single dollar going towards your mortgage payment and not enjoying life and enjoying the things that, that your kids and you enjoy doing. So I personally try and remind them that while real estate is a great investment, their home is a great investment, they want to make sure that they're taking into consideration the other factors as well. You're with Nelson Radio. Where you're listening to Terrence Brandley, longtime mortgage professional and Academy Mortgages own Jay Oku. Jay, with your background, you've done a ton of VA and FHA financing. Do you find that the military community, let's use that exact example, they've, they've come back from deployment, they're now settling into civilian life, that they maybe want to stretch for a little bit more to kind of almost make up for being gone for, you know, during the conflicts that they were deployed in? Wait. The the VA loans unique in that there are guidelines that well all, all loans and and the VA loans were lenient so um, they actually brought about a little more uh, leniency and uh, liberalization of uh, mortgage guidelines in general to the to the overall industry. Um, however, you know they won't lend over a certain debt to income ratio, so it keeps people within their means to a degree. But we don't want anyone losing sleep over a mortgage payment. But I do. Uh, run Run into several uh, veterans and active duty soldiers who have plans to retire in a particular area. They're they're only here for three years, so we make sure that you know while they're at this duty station, they're going to be comfortable, and that that mortgage will be paid by the rents. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of uh, self-made uh, real estate investors in the military community, which is great to see. They've earned this benefit, and uh, I just like helping them out. You know, it's it's really insightful what you said, and you agreed with this, Terrence, in terms of having balance. And we, we, we see, you know, this this, uh, this uh, acronym that we've sat, uh, sent around for a long, long time, we call it the sitcom. Single income, two children, overwhelming mortgage. And that's not a lifestyle. Okay, they can buy into a community, but it doesn't create a lifestyle if you can't afford to feed your kids or take them to Disneyland, right. as the case may be. So for us as mortgage professionals, I think bringing back that level of discernment and saying, hey, okay, maybe you can stretch to a $500,000 mortgage, but at four. 50, you have that kind of balance makes great economic sense. I think that's sound advice. With Ter- I agree. Yeah, with Terrence, I think we'd all agree in this uh, mortgage industry now where we, we've weeded out a lot of the greed in this industry. Everyone was in the mortgage yes. industry a while back. We've survived this, and we're looking at uh, helping people. And whether they buy in yes. two months or two years, we really want to guide them and, and to get their hands around this and use it as a uh, uh, just a leverage tool to create wealth and do it the right way, and, and they don't have to rush into it. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more. And, and that's really where I think you know the, the experienced loan officers that we have in our industry now uh, are, are of significant benefit to really helping people guide them and, and to, to really serve as a mortgage consultant for these folks. Wise counselors. More. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with us. We're going we're gonna to break here, but uh, you're uh, with Terrence Brandley, longtime mortgage professional, 15-year veteran, Jay Oku from Academy Mortgage, FHA VA specialist, and my own background in the mortgage industry, 29 years of uh, giving counsel to people across all of California and the Western states. Stay with us. We've got our ebook that we're extending to you. If you simply call in, all you need to do is call me direct, 888 888 2136. That's 888-888-2136. It is a great read, a great motivator, and frames out exactly how we can compete in this marketplace that we're in in real estate. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You're listening to Nelson Radio. This segment brought to you by Academy Mortgage. Welcome back to Nelson Radio. I'm with Terrence Brandley, 15-year veteran to the mortgage industry, a defined mortgage strategist, and a great counselor, uh, someone that takes genuine insight and care into his counsel that he extends to his clients. And then Jay Oku from Academy Mortgage, my partner in the mortgage business down in, in South County, specialist with VA financing. 
FHA financing, and I think specifically with the VA financing, a different role that you have to play in terms of somebody that's been disconnected perhaps uh, with their military uh, deployment, uh, disconnected from maybe some of the disciplines and mortgage decisions that need to be made, and you can provide that kind of financial counsel along their home buying process. And so we wanted to continue. We looked at just in this last segment on where the mortgage industry has been, and I want to take a look at where it is is today. And we've been talking about risk versus reward. Obviously, lenders are risk adversive. They don't want to lend to uh, people that are not going to pay back the loan, right? Correct. Simple stuff. And so, is the industry, has it overcorrected uh, in the context of today's lending practice? What do you think? Well, it's similar to the TSA. If they over corrected in their uh, their scrutiny or their 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 pat downs, and it's very similar uh, in the in the industry. Uh, if you can pass the scrutinization and you go through all of the uh, the. I can never understand why you pat down your customers. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but if you can make it through the initial audit uh, and yeah. you're prepared and, you're, and, and your loan officers set the expectations that you're going to need to have these documents in this time frame and they've laid it out for you, well, then you'll be ready to, to uh, weather the whether the new norm of uh, mortgage lending. You know, Terrence, one of the e-guides that we're making available to our listeners are the eight buyer mistakes. And one of them is just that, being prepared. And you do have to have your financial and documented life in order in terms of the bank statements and the pay stubs and the W-2s and addresses that match and the tracking of deposits. I mean, it, it can go on and on, but it is is there a way to to proactively prepare for that so it's not this pain-induced kind of experience that yeah, people are just I, trying to survive? I think so, and I think one of the first steps is, is to, I think a lot of times, uh, like all of us, uh, we love to shop, right? So you go online and we start looking at, at products and we start looking at, at homes we want to buy, and I think one of the biggest mistakes is, is jumping out there and, and a realtor before you sit down and go, okay, let's, let's get our stuff together. Let's talk to you know, a qualified mortgage consultant, and a lot of times... The good realtors out there, uh, the folks that we're all partners with, uh, can put uh, you in touch with them. But I think that's one of the most important things for people to do is, is get their financial uh, statements and their financial data together so that they can get a pre-qualification, understand what documentation is going to be needed, and really understand what they're going to be able to qualify for. So I think that's really important, kind of doing that homework and that gathering of the data before. It makes the process so much easier and so much less stressful. Well, like I shared with you, Terrence, Jay and I have been promoting the same as cash offer for those uh, home buyers out there that do have yeah, financing, do require financing, and they're competing with the all cash buyer, but reversing the process where they're not just getting a pre qualification. Maybe a, a loan officer that looks at a credit, looks at a pay stub, and says, Ah, you're fine. Go out there and buy whatever you want to buy, and then we'll get you a loan when it's time. In contrast to that, taking the loan process up front all the way through the underwriting phase, satisfying the conditions to that underwriting, and so that there's just five things left to do, which is find the home, escrow, title insurance, appraisal, and, and home inspection, and you're done. And to me, it just makes so much sense. Of I'll tell, I, and I don't mean, I'll tell you, that, that is so important. And, and I just was reading a statistic uh, earlier this week that, you know, here in Southern California, almost 33% of the homes last year in our area were purchased with cash. So, you know, that puts, you know, the, the folks looking to get a mortgage for the property, which is the majority of us, at a little bit of disadvantage. So a product like that, an offering like that, uh, that you guys have is, is phenomenal and a real asset. Let me ask you guys how you prepare somebody that's in escrow. And they're now going through the process. There's that uh, waiting for the closing date. It could be 30 days, 45 days, in some instances, 60 days. Are you giving them clear instruction on what to do during your purchase? On my side, I'm, I'm, I'm a psychologist. I'm holding hands. There's a lot of emotions going on during this process, right. yeah. and I just need to Great. be there. I need to have my phone on at 10 o'clock at night. I have to let them know that they have their team of professionals, their realtor, myself, even a CPA on backup because there's CPA letters and there's financial documents from your financial advisor that need to be. So I prepare everyone that this is a 30-day process that we're going to be going in together, and we're in that foxhole together. We're going to, be, we're going to make sure that uh, they're not left out to drive. We don't want them going sleep that night wondering 
wondering about the process. So that's our job. It's really yeah, I agree. And process. I think it's so often, uh, you know, we, we, because it's commonplace to us as, as mortgage and real estate professionals, we're in this business every day. Uh, people buy groceries every, you know, once a week and get gas in the car every week, but they're buying a home once every, you know, seven years. And so it really, is, and again, this is the biggest purchase, that, one of the biggest purchases they're going to make in their life. So it is important to exactly, you know, to, to, to be that consultant, be that psychologist, like you said, and, and just be there for them with whatever questions that they have. You're with Nelson Radio. You're with the mortgage professionals of JOQ with Academy Mortgage, longtime professional Terrence Branley down in Orange County. And we're just kind of looking at where we've been in the mortgage lending business, where we are today, and how to perform. I want to encourage you to take advantage of the eight buyer mistakes. We've identified them. We have an e-guide that we can extend to you. All you need to do is give me a call at 888 888 Two one three six. I'm getting told that I'm just firing this phone number out at you. 888-888-2136. Or easier yet, just go to nelsonradio.com and we'll get that guide out to you. One thing that I, I do know in the mortgage process is that uh, the mistakes that people make while they're in escrow. They go, oh, here we're going to move into this home, and let's go get that new car. Let's go buy the furniture. Let's right. go get what the you, car. Yeah, right. yeah, so here you have this that sound. Let me get the sound effect. <laughs> so what do you do with that, Terrence? Well, you know, I think we've all been through that, right? And, and um, you know, one of the, just like we talked about sitting down with, with the borrower or the home buyer at the beginning of the process, and I try and just forewarn them of the importance of whatever you do, don't make any financial decisions in terms of getting a credit card, uh, getting, you know, purchasing a car. These are all things that can affect your debt-to-income ratio, and more importantly, the credit worthiness is whether or not a lender is going to make that home loan to you. Uh, and again, I think it's just one of those things we all learn the hard way. You know, we're like kids. We, we make a mistake, we stub our toe once, and we never do it again. And that's just one of those things we really, as mortgage consultants, need to, to, to sit down with our, our borrowers up front and remind them, Whatever you do, and don't this, do anything. And this is what good coaching is. That's mistake number seven in terms of <laughs> avoiding those kinds of purchases, eff- effectively right. standing down with your purchase while you're in escrow, and then after the fact, as you close, you can do what you want to do. You're restored right. to full autonomy. I think it's great advice. Terrence Brandley, I want to thank you for being with us, mortgage professional down in Very Orange welcome. County, and my a partner in the mortgage sector of being a wise counselor, Jay Oku, a specialist in in FHA and VA financing with Academy Mortgage. Thanks for being with me. We appreciate what you yeah, do, thank Nelson. You for thank we you only much. flashed on three of the eight mistakes, and so I want to encourage you, get our e-guide. It's, it's good, wise, direct counsel, and it'll help you through your home purchasing process. You can get that simply by calling me at 888 888- 888-2136. Simple enough. 888 Or just click through to nelsonradio.com, and we'll get that right out to you. Stay with us. We're going to come right back and talk about some of the headlines in our Street Noise segment. Stay with us. You're listening to Nelson Radio. This segment brought to you by Academy Mortgage. Corporations. NMLS 331060. This is Nelson from Nelson Radio, and it's important that we talk about a very serious issue. We had bad lending practices that led to the mortgage meltdown, but now we've got the challenge of deplorable customer service coming out of the meltdown. Bottom line, getting a new loan can be like pulling teeth without Novocaine. I've got the solution. Academy Mortgage and my team are injecting into the industry real performance and real accountability. Here are the facts. Appraisals in less than a week. Rate guarantees that can improve if the market goes down. Purchase transactions with our market-exclusive close-on-time guarantees and refinance transactions in as little as 30 days. Who would have thunk? Guaranteed rates and guaranteed performance from your mortgage lender. Call me, Nelson, an accountable loan expert for nearly three decades, direct at 888 That's Nelson at 888 888 888 888-2136 or at strongcreditrewards.com.